Oh, it can capture my cursor. God damn it. That's okay. That's okay. I think it's okay. PowerPoint. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I this is the only way I can think to make it work. Does this work? Hey man, it looks fine. Okay, they got a sneak see all peek. Your friends, uh, friends playing on state though. <laughs> um, just the usual. Waiting for George. George, what do you have to say for yourself? Um, I mean, I got no excuse, really. <laughs> Oh, I don't even want to let this fade out. I wanted to just rock the whole fucking three minutes, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna fade it out. Fine, boys, fine. Oh, that clean Look at this pop fade. Out chat. Clean fade. All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the Nebraska Fighting Game Community Podcast. Uh, still on the pardon the interruption theme this week. Uh, obviously, we got George Reale. MKL Wilbon and Dame Kornheiser with me. How we all doing today, boys? Doing good. How are y'all? Excellent. Uh, first of all, I want you to show show off your Sailor Moon shirt, Dame. Show the people. Sailor <laughs> Moon. I got this on, at GameStop. It was on sale. <laughs> hey, it looks it looks pretty fresh. I'm gonna give it up. Um, it's kind of a slow two weeks for the. The FGC in general, but there was enough to probably shit post about, I don't know, 45 minutes, I would say. So let's uh, bop right into this uh, with the emote purge that's going on in the FGC, our current FGC right now. And that means we're voting on what emotes to save and what emotes to delete. I want just a clean top two bottom two emotes from you both. George, start us off. Damn, I, I wasn't expecting this. Let me look at the emotes real quick. <laughs> oh, God. He, he's not even an emote fan. Uh, let's see. Top two. Let's give it up to uh, that. the MKL face is pretty good. <laughs> and then let's give it up to... Uh, GG2020, like that one. I, I, like that. That. I don't know who that is. That's Kizzy K. That's, Kizzy K. K. Uh, that's definitely okay, one okay. of the top ones as well. Kizzy K. And you know, I'll just give honorable mention to uh, Genie One. That one's pretty good as well. You gotta give it up to bottom Genie two. One. I mean, any of these anime girls easily bottom two. <laughs> that would have been, yeah. Yeah. Damn, what you got for me? Let's see. Top two. It's got to be. GG 2020. Kizzy K's face is a, a timeless. Give it up for and, Kizzy. Uh, also, Genie Scouter. Genie Scouter is up there. <laughs> That's all, another timeless, another classic. We can never hope to get rid of that. If anyone it, voted for that, I hate you. Yeah, fuck we'll off. Never get rid of that. <laughs> we love Genie 2020. We need a G Genie 2020. Let's see, bottom two. Wes is probably going to hate me for saying this, but any of these Fate Go avatars need to go until Fate actually gets a fighting game. And no, Fate Unlimited Codes does not count because nobody plays that. <laughs> I think we're in agreement on that, yeah. My top two, it's got to be Genie 1. Because Genie 1 is just legendary. It's, it's so much <laughs> lore around that emote. It, it's been around for years. And God, I want to give it to another genie emote, but I gotta be a little bit more variety, and I gotta go for my boy Lel Bron because I gotta save him. He, he's on the chopping block right now. I saw so many people voting for it, and I just could not respect it. And that, that is just a, stay. it's so useful. I don't care if it's not local. I don't care if it's sports. That face is funny as fuck. In fact, I would rally to get this this emo up here added but you know i get it we can only have one lelbron per server but yeah <laughs> um all right so the the bottom two has got to be the upwards looking anime girl easily the worst and i'm glad that she has the most vo votes right now and then it's basically a tie <laughs> for all of that that blonde f is that a fake character that blonde anime girl that one who's always so. looking like chibi and stupid. Yeah, <laughs> those are the fake characters I was trying to get rid of. 
Everyone from Lincoln's getting banned from the stream. I yeah. Know, in the chat getting ready. Getting ready to shoot us all. We're in, we're in big trouble. I think the, the tier list right now for things that are going to get axed basically are the ones that kind of need axed. Especially, I, I had one where I was like, get this man a towel needs to be an emote. That one needs to go. It, it's shitty. I'm sad that one of my emotes is getting deleted, and that's the, the <laughs> second big zam. You can't have two big zams, only one. <laughs> Yeah, we're, a lot of this is just getting rid of redundancy here. You yeah. don't need a another corn dog emote or another Zam emote. Yeah, one kind of one for customer. Core A one, but you know we got another core A. So right, right, right. Plus nobody's going to locals anyway, so the go to locals thing is kind of pointless. <laughs> yeah. I mean that's that's really it. I wanna I wanna hear from from Wes and Genie in the chat what they're what they want to save. Delete COVID. If we delete it from our server, it'll be gone everywhere. That's my theory. <laughs> it's true. It's fucking true. Kobe emote? We yeah, don't want a Kobe emote. emote. That shit's yeah. sad. That shit's sad. Rest mm -hmm. in peace, Kobe. Um, I will say, George, you're lagging right now on your cam. I don't know why. I don't want to fuck it up, so maybe we'll just have you lag for the whole time. Uh, I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a lot, there's a lot of desync, but... yeah. We'll work with it. What if I turn the cam off and turn it back on? That'll work, work I think. Can try that. This podcast is also delay based netcode. Delay based podcast. Okay. George say something. So. Oh, it's fucked. Words, 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 words. It's just the way it is. We're not fixing it. <laughs> we ain't fixing it. Um alright. I think that 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 about covers it for the great emote purge. Um, lastly, again, I'm going to reiterate it. Save LeBron. You see it in the top right. Um, moving on to our second topic, which is the PlayStation 5 event happened, I don't know, what, fucking 3, 5, 7, 19 days ago? I don't know. Um, but, man, that system is fucking ugly. There's a lot to go over. Um, first of all, I want to talk about the one USB-A port, there is a USB-C port as well, but that means a lot of people are going to have to get converters for their sticks, which is going to affect the scene reasonably. Um, what do you guys think about the USB sitch? Stupid. <laughs> people shouldn't have to play rock, paper, scissors in order to get like a port into the fucking uh, PS5 or whatever. Yeah. Um, you know, some people are saying there might be some more ports in the back. But still, it's kind of a hassle to, you know, especially if they give us the short USB cords that kind of, you know, if you don't have a long one, you're kind of fucked. You sit behind the PS5 or something. Yeah, Form you're gonna... factor, it looks like they're trying to make it look cool or something, but it's huge, bulky, and dumb looking, and it looks like my router. I rest my case. <laughs> Seriously. And imagine you just, like, accidentally uh... tugged the cord and just yanked the whole system because you're plugged into the back. <laughs> I think you guys froze on me. You froze on us. You George. froze on us, George. <laughs> <laughs> Just there looking sad. <laughs> All right, let me switch out hey, you're right. you're back. I don't really know what no, I. No, no, you're did. back. You fixed it. Right. I'm back now. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what I did. Okay. Anyways, anyways. So, what kind of controller? Like what? Like the controller is it USB C or what? I think like there's a one USB C port and one US the the regular USB port. It's probably going to be USB-C, I would imagine. Um, but I think but there's the, only one port in the front, is what you guys are saying. Yeah, right. one of each. One port, port of each. But the USB-C cables shaped differently than the USB-A. So, like, do you have like right. a Samsung phone or anything? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the USB-C. So USB on my phone. Yeah, so it's a completely different. Right. Yeah, but why is there only one on the front? Because they're idiots. <laughs> but why is there one of each on the front? What? It, like what? I don't understand that. I maybe that's what you, uh, If the controller uses a C, what is the, the what uses the A? Well, they 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 might have backwards compatibility with the PS4 controller. I'm thinking. I don't know. This sounds pretty stupid. And Wes brought up a good point where there's probably going to be some input lag situation with the ports 
Right, especially if we use like a, you know, one of those extender ports or whatever. Yeah. To convert over, it's going to be a, a pain. They probably just want us to all play wireless. I mean, you have to on PS4 anyways if you're a pad player, so I'm used right. to it, but... On stick, I don't know how that's going to work. Just how we're going to charge that bulky thing <laughs> on the go. I'm going to make my case yeah, again, boys. I'm going to make my case. PC Locals. I know y'all hate me for it. I know it doesn't <laughs> seem feasible. But have you not been to a local where you look around and see somebody has a has a laptop set up and it's working just fucking fine? Do you know how many uh, blood, sweat, and tears we can avoid if we just flip the laptop open, open up our fucking Eternal Fighter Zero? Yeah, PCs are about to be smaller than the goddamn PS5. I don't want to hear this. Oh, it's too bulky. It's too fucking blah, 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 blah. Like, no. Nothing? Yeah, Crickets? I, 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 get the, I get that that point, but there's also some technical aspects that need to be looked at as well like i don't know i don't know if people are going to be wanting like randos just going in and plugging shit into their laptops or you know that's yeah i i get that yeah if you leave like your computer at a local and say you like go out to get food or something and then somebody goes digs around in your files and find some shit (laughs) (laughs) who's gonna do that i don't know you know there are probably some scumbags out there in the scene we can get something like standardized. Or, or somebody know. goes in there, cranks you, they download some porn images or some shit, puts it on your computer. <laughs> That's more like meeting at work. Screen share that shit, and then somebody sees it. That's way more likely. <laughs> but Seems like it's just right for shenanigans. Again, there's so many sponsorship opportunities. We can get Corsair like Dota players get. We can get the fucking monitors. Well, we kind of already have monitors. We'll get more monitor sponsorships. We'll get Intel. We'll get AMD. Graphics cards. NVIDIA. Do you not want these people putting money into the scene? I I I think it's just a big ask to bring, for like, rando to bring their PC to a local. Dude, this is what I heard. PCs are not going to be smaller than a PS5 or whatever, but I'm probably not going to buy a new PC in the next five ten years totally but uh, i i heard the same things about people going from arcade cabs to console ports everyone was like oh people can fuck my system up and blah 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 and you know i i think but there's only so many ways they can fuck up your system versus your pc i mean Dude, put a front end on it where it's just big picture and it's locked to Steam big picture. I'm sure you could do it. I don't know how to do that. <clears throat> I'm technologically, as you can see, technology is not my style. Wes has a good point in the chat where he says there would be an input lag differential between setups usually. But that doesn't mean that we can't have the Evo standard monitor on the fucking laptop. You can literally have your laptop in a bag and plug a DVI in or HDMI in. But this is this is beside the point. I'm always gonna be pro PC. I get it. There's cons, but y'all need to fucking. I'm a boomer and I'm for this. Give me a break. Like, I get it. Um, moving on to the next thing is there's rumors that it's going to cost what five ninety nine or four ninety nine I'm hearing conflicting accounts. There's two um, versions, isn't there? Maybe one's, one's five right. I think one's gonna be like a hundred dollars less. Um, personally I have no attachment to like physical copies of you know games. I'm yeah. I'm completely fine with just having everything digital. Saves space, saves you money for the most part, so Yeah, I'm I I'm totally for the digital version. I know a lot of people Damn, I'm seeming like such a Zoomer right now. I'm like fucking <laughs> pro PC, pro digital. Like, I just want to play the games, and if they can make the system cheaper by re- removing the disk drive, I'm for it. Because I bought Dame's PS4, disk drive doesn't work. I bought a PS3, disk drive didn't work in that one. So this is just the standard for me. 
<laughs> oh, so and I'm all about downloads, so. Play Asia put I'll a price at seven hundred dollars. Six ninety nine. That's even worse than the PS3 controller. <laughs> yeah, I feel like they're just repeating history. That's like a PC, almost. Oh, no, it's cheaper than a PC. I mean, uh, PC is cheaper, sorry. <laughs> People were allotting it. I don't, I don't think they could ever put it at 700 And whatnot, but... From what I've seen from the game demonstrations, there were even, like, frame drops in the trailers, so I don't know how much i buy that. <laughs> Well, they're targeting 30 FPS on the their little stream. They were like, it's going to be a 1080p 30 FPS stream. And that's, it's fucking, do I have to be the little cliche motherfucker who says, it's 2020, it's 2020. Yeah, I'm going to be that guy because I don't want 30 <laughs> frames per second in 2020. Like, Jesus Christ, I don't care what graphics you got. Like, I've seen Horizon Zero Dawn. I've seen God of War. I don't give a shit. I like it hurts my eyes to play those games that have like 20 FPS. Ugh. Um. So yeah, it sounds like this is gonna be the PS3 all over again. A huge fucking massive console, overpriced. <laughs> Must have hope it has games on launch. Ugly. <laughs> It's fucking, it's a little bit sad. Is there anything that I'm missing? Basically, what they announced was the, they didn't even announce the price yet, but they announced the system specs as far as, like, what it looks like, USB ports, controller design. The games, obviously. Oh, yeah, the games. They have the Spider-Man game. Fuck, what else? That's the only one I remember. <laughs> Best game, Bugs Nuts. Uh, Rise of Zero Dawn 2. Uh, the Sackboy game. We got Ratchet and Clank. Demon Souls. Uh, the some other one new I kind of remotely care about, other than Bug, Bug Snacks, is Demon Souls. Oh remaster. yeah, Demon Souls Remaster, which will probably come to PC as well. Honestly, yeah. oh, I bet it'd be timed exclusive. It will be like a year after. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, Resident Evil Eight as well. I guess I'm kind of excited for that one because I am a fan of the series, but. That didn't look like Resident Evil to it me. Did. Those it did. Those werewolves and those... Yeah. I was like, is this one? What, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I like what they're doing as the, with the series, though. They're splitting it up. They they kind of had that reboot with Resident Evil 7, where it's kind of like more like Silent Hills, you know? Yeah, and then they yeah. have the That's remakes. Like um, this is kind of an aside, but... They cannot figure out what they want Chris Redfield to look like in <laughs> consistently in every game. They he looks can't. like a different fucking human being. Well, it depends on how many steroids he's on during the era. You know, you gotta you gotta account for that. A little bit too too many burgers for Resident Evil Eight. Let's just say that. Yeah, he looks fat as fuck in this one. <laughs> <laughs> and then what it what it what was that scene where he just like reaches over and just gats some lady? <laughs> That's not very Still progressive. <laughs> You'll thank me for this later. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the games, yeah, like the games looked fine. Uh, the system looks way too big. I don't like the USB situation. Is there anything else I can bitch about? <laughs> I think you hit them all on the head. I think that's it. I'm probably. I just don't see any reason to buy one yet. Like none of these games are gonna make me go buy one. And yeah, I think I always care about these events. But they never like. There's no release dates for anything. It's like. They don't tell you what's actually going to release with it. They always say holiday. Like, they don't even tell you what day the comp's coming out. They don't tell you what day any of these games are coming out. It's like, uh, I just, trailers is one thing, but give me the dates. Give me the hard details. I don't know why they even hide half of the shit anyways. Yeah. Hold off on buying one. Hold off on buying um, one. The lady is supposed to be the RE7 wife's protagonist. Is that Mia? Is that the, the, the that lady we spent all game trying to save? Oh. And then she dies like at the beginning of eight. Is that is that go. real talk? <laughs> no way. I'm um, gonna have to go back and rewatch that trailer after this, but that sounds like uh, I mean, it's lore and Genie's the god of lore, so he's the god of lore. We gotta believe him. <laughs> um, I would trust him. That's a good. Uh, it just reminded me that um, PlayStation has had a bad launch for like the first year or two for every system since three so i know people liked four when it launched but that it had no fucking games it had nothing <laughs> to play 
it overheated. It was a piece of shit. Um, so PS5 looks like it's right in the run and slotted in. It's another one for PlayStation. I hate like no games is always the complaint. Yeah. As an aside, I want to say Xbox un- is doing a good job right now. The system looks like a mini fridge, but it looks aesthetically pleasing. Like, it doesn't look stupid. They have a shitload of games announced for it. Uh, you know, it it's I think they've announced the price, haven't they? And it's cheaper than the PS5. I think so. I don't fuck with anything Xbox. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't either, but I want to say, like, if this, if I was a console buying consumer, which I'm not, I would have to go with the Xbox from the information I know right now. Even then, the Xbox yeah. One seemed like it was super unpopular. I don't think anybody. Yeah. Well, it had no game. I think the, the weird thing about the Xbox One is, like, I think it did. Basically everything right except it had no games. It had no games. Whereas this one, they even announced like a PS4 lot of games. Stumbles out or PS4 stumbled out of the gate, but then it had games. So then it was like okay. PS5. I mean, maybe they could get games on the Xbox, but yeah, I don't know what they got. I don't give a fuck about any of their exclusives. Didn't the PS4 launch pretty cheap as well? It was like four ninety nine, or was it three ninety nine? It launched pretty cheap. I don't know. I never even. I'm not sure about how much. I never really... bought a PS4. I just got mine gifted to me by my roommate. So launched at 400. It's pretty good. Launched at 400. See, that's pretty good versus fucking what PS3 was 5.99. I think on launch. 5.99.99. Whack. <laughs> Every time we talk about a console on here, I just I get a little heated, man. I I have my PS4 right in front of me. And I haven't turned this bitch on since I finished FF7. And I never probably will again. And I'm like, how did they sucker me in again? I mean, I feel like there's probably some kind of exclusive out there that you'll play, but... I think you just need to look for them. What, Horizon Zero Dawn? You think I'm going to play that dumb shit? No. <laughs> I mean, it plays, like, there's a ton of weed shit on there, and I know you kind yeah, of... Yeah, like, an obscure so. shooter you might import from Japan. All that shit I just emulate. I'm on there. <laughs> like, okay, they had. I think you just gotta do some research. I feel like there's gotta be something in there. I've done research. Like, I don't like Persona games, and that's usually the big JRPG thing. Uh, the shmups, like all the shmups, are just remasters on the PS4 that I can just emulate on my computer. Bloodborne, I I'm not a Souls fan, as we all know. Um, God of War, I would rather choke than play, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, Jeannie said God of War right when I said that, too. <laughs> we went over all of those. <laughs> We're not gonna hook seconds ago. <sighs> we must have a stream delay right now, though. <laughs> Uncharted? Okay, I don't mind the Uncharted games, but I would never... Last of Us? Last of Us? I, I would... I would the first watch one was it. good. I'll hold my, I'll reserve my opinion for the second one because, um, from what I've been hearing, kind of yeah. yeah, been hearing suspect stuff. But I would watch The Last of Us. That game looks garbage to play, so I yeah, not my thing. Killzone, Genie, you are fucking up right now. <laughs> you are fucking up right now. Let's move hey, what on. Nat, what about Nack one and two? Nack, oh my. Oh, let's move on. I'm getting heated. <laughs> Okay, Remlethal reveal. Um, Guilty Gear just randomly dropped a thing on their Twitter where they uh, said, hey, keep an eye out uh, on the IGN Summer of Games thing. We booted up the stream, and the first thing we see is the reveal for the new Guilty Gear character, Remlethal. Well, she's from Exert, but um, new for <laughs> Strive. Um and then immediately after the trailer, IGN ignored it. They acted like it never even played. They were like, what the fuck was that? Um, so, I personally don't have a lot of experience with playing or even watching Remlethal. Like, when I watch Guilty Gear, I never see that character. I just know that she's a, a, a feet-sniffing, like, anime waifu character. Uh... 
she looked good. She looked good. I had to go back and watch the trailer a few times. But um, what do you think about her, Dame? Well, I didn't really play her in Exert at all myself. I didn't even play Exert at all, so that's probably why. But I think as a character <laughs> design, <laughs> she she looks pretty cool. I think it'll attract people to the game, her being in it. You know, there's some um, iconic character designs that if they make it in, I think people passing by be like, hey, that, that character looks cool. I want to try this game out. So I'm all for it. But um, I wish characters that you know, were revealed were characters that I would consider playing because Ramlethal doesn't really do it for me. <laughs> no, doesn't do it for me. Although I do like the whole, like, floating two swords thing. But, yeah, that's about it. She, other than that, not for me. Uh, George, what do you think about the old girl? Uh, I mean, I'm not going to play her, and she doesn't look really interesting to me. I'm still waiting for the Black Samurai dude. I don't know what happened to that guy. I don't know if he's even still in the game. I would like some information, Arxis. Anything. I really Maybe thought it would be him. He's he he on the, the milk carton. Yeah. I've seen him since. Just, just like, a, just tell me anything about him. What is shoe size is? Oh, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> he got outsourced to King of the next King of Fighters game. I would we all at least like tease him or something. Like, send me a blurry pic of him or something. Like, make a, a silhouette and just be like, who's that character or something like that. I think they're saving him for Evo, personally. I did read one theory that he's like, somebody thinks he might be like the evil guy, so they're going to leave him to the end. But that could be. Final boss. I haven't seen him before, so maybe. I mean, we don't know anything about him. He looks like fucking, like he gets into Genji's suit from Overwatch, so <laughs> I'm really unsure about him, to be honest, but... I mean, I... But honestly, I mean, I was just like a new character that hasn't been in a Guilty Gear yet to be revealed. Me too. Me That's too. interesting. Because, I mean, honestly, none of the Guilty Gear characters that exist previously really appeal to me. So hopefully one of the new ones will appeal to me. I... Oh, I don't know. I... Guilty Gear has a lot of good character designs. I... I mean, like, aesthetically, almost none of them appeal to me. You don't love Venom? Venom's pretty That's cool. the guy with the... Wait, no, Venom's the guy with the billiards, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, the pool guy. Uh, I don't know. I mean, to be honest, like, every single character in Guilty Gear, it feels like they, like, took a character and then, like, were like, how can we make her more awesome? And then they, like, did something to it. Like, the, the one dude who's got the chains, he's also, like, a time traveler. Or, like, you know, soul bad guy is also, like, a dragon. Or, you know, this character is this, but then he's also this. It's kind of what it seems like. When it comes to anime kind of designs, I think Guilty Gear is probably the tamest out of them. Um, go over and look at Blaze Blue. It's all, like, deviant art kind of anime character design bullshit. But I think Guilty Gear does a good job on their character designs, mostly. It kind of takes inspiration from, like, that grungy, whatever, 90s look. Yeah, yeah everybody said work on their clothes for no reason. Come on. <laughs> I will say they go a little bit too ham with the belts, but that's the only thing that's really super anime about it, character design wise. They're, it's really varied. You have a dude with a who's a fucking doctor, who has a paper bag on his head and like gets big and then small and crawls on the floor, and you have fucking a dude with. There's like that one dude that's a ninja, but he's like on his cell phone all the time. It's just yeah, too extra. Is Chip on his cell phone? The big it's not Kung Fu dude is always uh, is actually like a little girl in a mech. Come on, it's just like the the idea, and then they like add like eight things onto it. <laughs> I guess it's like a ninja yeah. dude that's like always on his phone. They are a little bit over designed. I mean, just it's kind of how games are nowadays. Like the Venom guy, he's like blind too, right? Is or he just blind? Just cover his face? I don't think he's blind. I think it has like some weird like. I actually don't know to be honest. I don't think he's blind. Okay. Uh, well, still, he like controls the pool balls with that hieroglyphic on his hair, right. if I remember he has right. An eye on his hair, or whatever. Yeah. Or like, uh, like I don't know. Just and a some of the way the characters are like, uh, Phil is like obsessed with like marriage or whatever. I just like, 
There's no fun really anime it. quirks they add on to the characters. To yeah. That's modern level. fighting games, though. They need the waifu characters. They need the Lucky Chloe's. They need the... the Elfelt. Yeah, but, but How do you say her name? Weirdly, singularly fixed on some weird thing. That's what sells, baby. That's what sells. It'd be like if Lucky Pooley was like obsessed with barbecues or something and always brought out her grill and talked about how much she loves grilling or something. That would be dope as fuck. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck you're saying. <laughs> Elfelt. So I did say it right. Okay, cool. Um, I think that's that's pretty much it. I think the next reveal is going to be at Evo, obviously, and I think it's going to be Genji Cornrow guy. Who do you think it's going to be? I think... Um they might put in the, the like, Valentine's just because Ramlethal's in. I think Elfelt yeah. is a shoe in now. Unfortunately, everybody hates that character. If you look at her buttons, it's absolutely stupid. <laughs> Elfelt's like hell in. I think um, Biken has a good shot of making it into um, much to everyone's chagrin. Who all, who actually plays Exert, but <laughs> yes, she's highly popular amongst the people who don't play the game. So <laughs> she <laughs> is. <laughs> George, who do you want in the game? I don't know. I don't know <laughs> any of these Guilty Gear characters. Is there anybody that's like some kind of monster or like a dinosaur or something? Like Faust? Something that's not human. Faust? Potemkin? No, he's a human. Uh, Both humans. Faust is yeah. not human. Faust is he not looks human. human. I need something monstrous. You, uh, play, you mean uh, an Eddie main? Eddie? Also, the, one, the one character that I think is cool is, uh, I don't remember his name, but he has like stretchy arms and he shoots like a ball. Stretchy arms. Stretchy arms? Why are like, needles, I think, on his hands? Oh, Raven. Yeah, Raven. Raven. Okay, That's yeah, like Raven's kind of tight. And I only think it's cool because he, when he grabs you, it's like slow motion. Is Raven a he? I thought Raven was a she. Raven is indeed male. Damn, I did not know that. <clears throat> that all we got for Guilty That's Gear? the only character I think is cool. I think Guilty Gear is a dope game, and I want to play Strive, so I hope they put Faust in the game, which he already is, but I want them to put Faust in the game. I want him to be top tier, incredibly <laughs> cool, and really easy to play. That's all That's all I got for Guilty Gear. Let's move on to the bread and butter, which is the Tekken 7 rollback controversy. Um, Harada went on Twitter and decided to have somebody tr mistranslate his idea, or he... He just fucked everything up and said that Tekken 7 has rollback. It's just set to three frames. It makes n absolutely no sense if you read the tweet. Um, what do you guys think about the whole rollback controversy? Well, yeah, it, reading it made no sense to me whatsoever. We had to get rollback expert Sajam to do a video dissection on what the hell Harada meant by this. Because he also could not understand. Uh, we had a developer come in and ask Harada a question, and he was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 I said three. <laughs> three rollback. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I... I kind of want to take his word for it, because they're the only evidence of there being quote-unquote rollback is like the health bar sometimes going down and then going back up like for like a split second but that's the only evidence it could be a visual glitch for online who knows yeah but, um, other than that there has been if it like if it walks like a duck and talks like a duck it's probably delay based net code that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> it's delay based 100 percent sure but george what do you think you looking bored as hell i mean i personally don't know Really, I'm not gonna pretend like I know anything about delay versus rollback netcode. Um, Rip on his podcast, he's been running this theory that he thought Tekken Seven had rollback in some capacity. He thought Tekken Two had rollback in some capacity, and I don't know. I know he talked to Keats. He did like a big, like it was like a 20 minute interview with Keats about rollback like a couple months ago. So I don't really know what to think. I don't really care. Um, the only thing I'm really gonna say about this is I still think that this whole like thing is like 
so whiny and overblown. Like, if you go to like anybody that brings up like Tekken Online, there'll be commenters in there saying Tekken Online is unplayable. Tekken Online is unplayable. It's unplayable. Unplayable. And it's just like this has gotten to the point where it's like there are people who are advocating for rollback netcode genuinely, and it's well, it's worth doing. Yeah, sure. But then there are also people who are just like. I don't know, just shitting on the game for no reason. It's like, you know, if you... <laughs> are you, like, why? Like, are you doing this just to blow off steam? Are you doing this because it makes you feel better? Like, what's the problem? I think just a part of this is kind of like... Eris is a huge detractor of online fighting games, and I think a lot of his viewers kind of just parrot what he says. It's bad, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But it'll... how many of those people actually play the game? Who knows? Can we get Agreed. a statistic on concurrent... Tekken players online. Um, one thing that I want to point out is that, you know, what's the point? It, let's say there is some rollback in the game. What's the point of rollback that doesn't act like rollback? It's supposed to minimize the amount of delay you feel, and it's a constant amount of delay, so you don't get these weird spiky connections with everybody you play against online. And the evidence, like, towards this theory is that in practice mode, you can actually set the delay. <laughs> to be a variable amount. So they want you to practice these different timings for all of your combos, and I think I think that's kind of whack. Yes. The only evidence that I've ever seen of there being anything like rollback is those health bar situations, but those are obviously just the game resyncing, like just for a brief second. But as we see, Tekken likes to desync all the time and it rarely ever fixes itself on that so I think this is just like on the rare occurrence when the the resyncing actually works otherwise if it didn't work we would have the scenario where the two players don't see the same screen and are like wow you, why'd you get your ass kicked so bad like it happens all the time um Jeannie says George doesn't know the truth of rollback what do you have to say about that George <laughs> I'm not gonna play KI, so I'll switch to game. <laughs> you heard it Genie, here first, Genie. Genie. Shoot your shot, Genie. I respect it. <laughs> you shot anyone it. Anyone you can you can brainwash into playing is your biggest fan, George, on stream right now. Yep. You can't sorry, even convince Genie. your biggest fan to play I, KI. I have cool characters, but the combo system is not happening. I'm sorry, Genie. It's not happening. I don't want to play rock, paper, scissors after I play rock, paper, scissors to open you up. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> See, I'm even, my problem isn't even that. I just don't even want to learn it. Like, <laughs> I don't want to learn about linkers and manuals and shadow linkers and shadow breakers and counter breakers and counter reverse You just want to play the game. I just want to play a game. Like, and plus, ah, fuck that. You got to, like, mix yourself up when you're comboing somebody like am i gonna do the medium this time or am i gonna do the heavy this time i don't get it don't want it don't even want to think about it all right the game is cool to watch the game's cool to watch the game is cool to watch i'll give it that i do like to watch it um so we are all in agreement no ki and no souls games oh actually yeah. dame broke the code of honor and he played sekiro <laughs> and he liked it he's hey, off the team uh, <laughs> <laughs> sekiro doesn't count there's no souls in the title. And play Neo and Neo 2. Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> Alright, moving on to the patch. Um, it was just a, like... They, it took them 16 seconds in the boardroom to do... <laughs> it was basically fixing Fakum Rom's head. And now combos are more consistent on him. And he doesn't duck certain things. Damn, she calling me out for laziness. Oh, you're right, Genie. I am lazy. <laughs> So, I mean, there's really not much to talk about for the the, the patch, honestly. Yeah. They didn't Wait fix his legs. Months. Wait another couple months to fix his legs. <laughs> yeah. So, I guess they're just waiting for a more... I don't know what they're waiting for for this patch that Harada allegedly said was only, you know... They, I'm giving you three quarters now and the 66%'s coming in the future. I don't know where that's where that's at. That's a good question. We should stop talking about rollback and start asking about this patch. Well, Let's I think Murray's DMs about this patch. Both things are very admirable things to complain about and are beneficial for the future of fighting games. So, <laughs> I mean, I think we, I think we made our point on rollback. <laughs> we did. Let, moving on. If it's gonna happen. It's gonna be Tekken Eight. 
we had a. They said they're working on it, so they did. They did. Um, we have a Tekken Seven online tournament this Saturday. Um, we had one last Saturday, right? No, no, no. Two Saturdays ago, we had Saturday one. Yeah. After last. And it, before last. Yeah. Well, however the fuck you want to say it. Um, <laughs> It was a good, nice, solid eight-man tournament. It was, it was, it was perfect. You live streamed it, and if you guys want to um, take part in this next one, y'all should definitely hit up the 3D Fitness Discord, check you live's little uh, comment on it, and sign up on the challenge. Um, also, I won the last tournament. I'm a badass. I love myself. Confidence is key. Go on, talk, boys. <laughs> well, first of all, Mike, um, I'd like a public apology. Uh, 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 I knew this was coming. I knew this was coming. Because, what was it, our last podcast? That was, what, two weeks ago? You just would not give it up on online tournaments. And then, and then the weekend of that very discussion, you joined the online tournament? And you I, win it? <laughs> I knew this was coming. I knew it was then, coming. When you live put up this weekend's online tournament, you were the first person to sign up. The first. I was. Just what because I play in them doesn't mean I like them. I just I I play fucking Eternal Fighter Zero with Duesta to <laughs> shit post. Does that mean that I like Tekken Seven? But what about all that pride you just showed for winning? Does that I mean nothing to you? It's because I'm the goddamn best. Yeah. So the online turn made you happy. No. It created positive feelings. It didn't. It I had net positive on yourself and on the scene. No. We got people excited about Tekken. No. In fact, hey, your last words of the tournament were, man, I'm dropping Eddie. Fuck this game. And that was caused by online. Online <laughs> hey, caused you stress. Hey, and I didn't drop Eddie because of online. I dropped Eddie because of you. Hey, you just need to play Eddie more creatively. <laughs> Get those creative juices flowing, guys. You got out created. Man, and all of this wouldn't have happened without the online tournament. Thank you, online tournament. Thank you. Well, yeah, like sure. To... I'll <laughs> give it up. For, I'll give it up. It online gives us something to do in quarantine. It may not be, f like, it may not feel and good. you guys getting them stream viewers? Yeah. What's, what? Damn, this online, who, wait. Who came up? Who, who's who's pushing for the online terms? Who was that? Was that Dane? Or was that you? Who, who was it that was? George. Was oh shit! That was me. Oh shit! You know that's a pretty good idea. I gotta pat myself on the back for that one. It I don't feel good. It don't feel good. George but himself. I'll give hey, you. You know one thing you were right about, Mike, is I did lose to a laggy Lily in Grand Finals. <laughs> hey, that's your own I fault right. for what you're it's right. worth. You're right. You know. Spectrum. Y'all are really right. lucky that I missed the last tourney because it, it was a gorilla tourney. I was let know what I, they let me know like five minutes before it started. So, <laughs> what the fuck's going on, guys? No, Dame Tekken didn't enter it because he has morals and values and knows that Tekken Online is garbage. We respect him. <laughs> oh, no. right. I don't know about that. I'm gonna. Hey, I see you guys. My, I see you guys on Discord when you guys are in the team team room. I see you online. Playing the playing the online games. I see you streaming the online games, and I see you running that groovy bot. Hey, the groovy bot was a good. I'll give this one to you. Groovy bot ended up being a good wall. thing. Groovy All right, bot? God just damn. groovy bot. Online payments. God <laughs> damn. So next time when I tell you guys something, just do it. You know, just just do it. There's no reason not to. George, I'm two for two. You're I'm no two for two. no. If we really check the records, we could give you a lot of L's. Don't make me do no. it. Don't make me no. do it. <laughs> no. Okay. Two, four, two. Moving on from this endless heated... Hey, but one thing, I will say, one thing I will say is you guys should join the tournament if you're watching this stream. And, you know, it's pretty chill. Like, we got all up in the, in the what is it, the voice chat, and we... We're chatting up with Uli while he was kind of commentating, you know, even even chatting during our own matches. It was pretty fun, so it's just nice and chill, and everybody's hanging out. 
It was chill and relaxing, and yes, hanging out with your friends is good. Join the tournament this weekend. All right, boys, moving on to the FGC cancellation portion. Um, we have decided as a community that we are going to ban Filipino champ from every major in the United States of America. And I want a uh, general feeling from both of you on if this is a righteous act. George, start us off. Mm, uh, so basically, I think that, you know, th this, these are all private events, basically. So I don't really have a problem with the TOs banning F-Champ, uh, you know, in principle. I think they 100% have the right to do that. I think that there needs to be, like, it has to be A, consistent. B, it has to be, like, written down, like, what is and isn't allowed and in what capacity. And the third thing is I do think that, you know, I think... Uh, you know, I don't know F Champ that well. I think if you look historically, he probably has more than three strikes or whatever. But you know, I do think that there needs to be some kind of like either like rehabilitation or like some kind of strike system, or whatever. Because like he was banned from Capcom Pro Tour indefinitely, and that's just like I, I don't think you should ban somebody indefinitely. It should be like one year or two events or whatever it is. Like I just think that this should be more. Like set in stone. Like somebody should be able to go online and look up. You should go to the combo breaker. I don't know. Maybe this is the right case, but you should be able to go to combo breaker and see like these are the offenses. This is the punishment. You know, and I think there has to be room for people to do better, and there has to be room for them to grow, and has to be room for them to you know come back if they show that they're better. So, you know, I do think that I just don't. I I just feel like. You know, Mike Z made the comment or the joke, and from what I can tell, he didn't get banned from anything, and I don't understand why he didn't get banned, and F Champ got banned. Like, I don't necessarily think it's fair to use, you know, stuff that's from F Champ's past as a justification in this case. But I mean, I don't really know what's in F Champ's past. I don't pay attention to him that much. But like, I think it needs to be more transparent, more. It needs to be. It needs to be more set in stone, you know, so that people aren't just like figuring out what's happening from tweets and all this type of stuff. And I get there's no like governing body of the FGC right now, but it just needs to be more, I don't know, maybe like complete, more professional, more organized. Oh. <laughs> That's a good, well-rounded tip, George. Dame, take us away. <laughs> all right. Well, so the whole thing... Twitter cancellation is a, a bad curse <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> um, if you have um, someone getting banned for like sh stupid shit they say on Twitter, like everyone's up for you know potential cancellation. In my opinion, if they don't pose an immediate threat to anybody else in the community, I say just let let them play. Like they may say something real stupid, but. I don't see why that's grounds to ban them from the tournament. I mean, for example, you got how are you going to police this on different se separate occasions? Because how do you say this act is worse than that act or this act? It's all just cherry picking, and people will ban who they don't like. And you know, it's completely subjective at that point. Um, one like banning that everyone agreed with, you know, like Noel Brown in the past, he was banned from every event for sexual harassment. He posed an immediate threat to everybody in the community. For all the females for, for doing that shit. So that made sense. But this Filipino champ, I don't like him personally, but you know, maybe that's just his on screen persona. I saw like a lot of FGC pros like kind of sticking up for him and like on Twitter, like Shan was like, oh, he may seem like an asshole, but he's actually a nice guy, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But who knows? Who knows where they're trying to go with this? But if this keeps up at this rate and we give these Twitter monsters all of this power, they're going to just start canceling everyone. To, feel powerful feel like Fierce. they have a different on their keyboard yeah I'm, I'm not a fan personally it's Bad. making me paranoid to even have a twitter myself <laughs> and agreed agreed like um those are two hella well-rounded takes i just want to say this because i want to bring light to something i did that was bad in my past that i could be canceled for probably um, and I'm going to own up for it and say that I've become a better person. 
when I was in my early teens, it was really popular to use the F word. The, the gay F word. The gay F word. Yeah. And I used that a lot as an insult. And I don't know many people who didn't. And I'm going to own up for that and say that somebody's probably ha probably has audio footage of me doing that. And I could be canceled for that. And is that something that you feel good about? Canceling somebody for doing something a long time ago and ruining their career? Like, I, I, this, is the only, this is the part that gets me heated. George, you look like you got something to say. <laughs> I was just reading the chat. <laughs> but uh, I actually do. And, you know, one thing about this type of thing that kind of bugs me is, like, you know, you have some people defending F Champ. You have some people that's going after F Champ. You know, a lot of these guys are, like, OGs in the community. And, like, I, f I feel like there's dirty laundry or, like, everybody's got dirty laundry and like i feel like i mean i don't re i don't really know enough to call anybody out but you know just don't throw stones in glass houses like exactly. you know if you know you got something in the past you know don't don't be holier than thou and and you know because you always hate to see it when somebody one week they're criticized and this person that got canceled and next week they're getting canceled themselves exactly. but also you know i you know i do think like if you do know about some Body in the community that's doing some sketchy shit, you know, I do think, you know, you should bring it to light if you think it's important, if you think it's worth uh, being, uh, you know, judged, let the community judge, but, you know, if you, if you know something sketchy's going on, I definitely think you should bring it up, because, I don't know, I feel like, you know, just in any capacity, whether it be you're at work, or you're at school, or whatever, you probably know somebody that's done some sketchy shit, you know, Yeah. you know, so, like, if you know somebody that's doing something that you would rather they not do, you, know, you should bring it up to the important part. Yeah. And then you should have an open discussion and dialogue with those people, and, and there should be an opportunity for retribution, because as you said, everybody has dirty laundry. Everybody has things that they are fucking trash at and need to grow as humans. And instead of shaming them and trying to exclude them from... I mean, F Champ's life is the FGC, you know? I don't want to say that he's done great these past few years, but his friends, his monetary gains, all related to it. And it, he just instantly, no discussion, banned. And again, you guys had well-rounded takes of just like there's no code of conduct and there's no dialogue about it. It's just instantly, boom, you're just done. And it doesn't seem like there's any opportunity for growth here because you're being shamed and you're put on the defensive, which bothers me greatly. Um, you brought up Mike Z as well, which uh, I am of the opinion of Mike Z had a far worse and far more vulgar joke than F Champ did. Yeah, and F -Champ he just didn't, didn't make any sense. I agree with that. I yeah. agree with that. <laughs> and versus, Sonic Fox made a post where he said, fuck F Champ. Mike Z's a good person, which this is all anecdotal. A lot of people are saying F Champ's a good person, but when you have a community figure like Sonic Fox saying this, a lot of people listen. So <laughs> it's the Twitter mob mentality that gets out of control sometimes, I think, and it can be a. Uh, it's kind of a joke. It's kind of a joke. Trash. I will say the people like the people who are saying that Skull Girl should get canceled from Evo because of Mike Z's comments. I think that's just stupid. Like. Yeah, you know the Skullgirls community. As much as Mike Z is like a pillar in the Skullgirls community, you know, the community still exists independent of Mike Z. And you know they love their game. They should get a chance to have that Evo. And you know maybe Power Rangers should be an Evo, maybe not, but it definitely should take Skullgirls. Yeah, if if, Mike, if um, Michael Murray gets canceled, they sure don't want that and getting canceled along with him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I totally agree. You should. If you're going to cancel, if you have to, if you're, it's imperative that you cancel somebody, don't cancel Skullgirls too. if you're going to cancel Mike Z. A lot of people worked on that, and a whole community. It, it, don't make it all fall down because of that. But again, it doesn't matter what I think, because fucking everything gets blown up anyways by the Twitter mob. So I think that's pretty much it, boys. You want to move on to shoutouts and bitch callings? 
Sure. Crickets. Crickets thing, right? <laughs> yeah, that's all we got. Um, actually, I guess we could say uh, our Twitter handles. George, you go first. <laughs> uh, my Twitter handle is uh, at Eddie Gordo Maine. There's definitely that's definitely a Twitter that exists. Definitely <laughs> check it out. Uh, Dame, where do we find you at? You can find me at at Dame underscore Yen Y E N. Catch my tweets. Um, please don't cancel me. I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Yeah, this is the this is the perfect segue to Twitter, Twitter clout. Um, you can find me at n e underscore m k l. I post like nine things a month at most, so it's not really that riveting of a follow. So I wouldn't recommend it. Um, all right. So who's got the the bitch calling? Who's got the uh, shout out? Who's got anything? I'd go. I'll go first. Bitch calling goes out to Sony for making that abomination of a console with one USB port and showing GTA 5 at the beginning of their press conference for the release for the seventh time. Really, really gets people going, excited for this port. I'm just waiting for Skyrim on the PS5 as well, and then my life will be complete. We're gonna get it. <laughs> We're gonna get it for sure. Shoutouts to. Who do I give shoutouts to? I didn't think it was that far ahead, but uh, shoutouts to George for pushing online tournaments and bringing the community <laughs> together <laughs> against the track. <laughs> I will say, though, I, I don't approve of country-wide online tournaments, but just our little pocket of like friends, I, I feel like that's fine. I feel like that's fine. It's fun. It's a good time. A well-rounded take. George, what you got for me? Uh, let's see. Bitch calling. Hmm. First of all, shout outs to Frito Lay. They came out with uh, Cheetos Flamin' Hot Popcorn, and it's pretty good. I like it. The Flamin' Hot Cheetos Popcorn. That shit's been around nice. for decades. Uh, I only just recently had it last week, so we only had it last week. Huh. The flaming hot popcorn? Is it? Yeah, it's in a new, it's in a bag and everything. It looks pretty cool. I got a little bag right here. Oh, it's maybe they, they, they redesigned it. Oh okay, yeah, that's cool. that's hella redesigned. Okay. Chester out here. I've never caught my eye before. Until now. Yeah, look at how red that popcorn is. The old design had like a weird like 80s logo on it, and they had that forever. Yeah, yeah, I think I remember that. Well, they fixed it and it appealed to my millennial sensibilities. So, good job for your life. Um, and let's say my bitch calling goes out to, uh, oh, bitch calling, you know, I usually support these guys, but my bitch calling today goes out to Popeyes because I went through the drive through and they forgot my large Coke, so I had to go back in and get my large Coke. Popeyes has always been shoddy for customer yeah. service with me, honestly. They forget everything yeah, and they get, fuck everything up. Me. They don't want to get too customer service. <laughs> I went to Popeye today, didn't see any black people in there, and they fucked up my order. Like, usually that doesn't happen to me. Hmm. Something's Think going on here us. behind the scenes. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Bitch calling goes out to EA Sports. I want to say that y'all fucking suck at making sports <laughs> games. Uh... And it makes me sad because you used to be good once upon a time in the mid-2000s, maybe mid-90s to mid-2000s, you made a lot of good fucking games. Uh, NBA Street Volume 2, if you don't like that game, you're just a trash human being. I'm gonna say it. Bitch calling to you if you don't like NBA Street Volume 2. Um, and shoutouts to, it's going to have to be, fuck it, George, thanks, you're a great human for saying online tournaments are the best, we worship the ground George walks on, alright, <laughs> there we go, you got it, you got it, um, and that's it for us folks, that's King George, yeah. King George in the flesh, Eddie Gordo Man. We are here, I'm going to say, maybe the schedule is bi-weekly, I'm going to say. So, catch us Wednesdays at around 7 o'clock, if George, you know, is running late, maybe 8.15. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Hey, five minutes late? That's fine. That's perfectly acceptable. All right, boys and girls. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah.